YouTubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me Peter the Master of Puppets today looking at a sour and this one is gonna be from Sweden guys this one is from Brekkeriet and this is the Brekkeriet Cassis and um, this was given me, to me from Christopher in Sweden at CBC in Copenhagen so thanks a lot to Christopher for the beer now this is gonna be my first beer from these guys and I've heard Good things about Brekkeriet. Apparently they're making some good beer. I've never had any of the beers and this is going to be my first, so this should be interesting. It's their sour ale made with black currants, with, fermented with Brettanomyces. And um, they do the fermentation with Brettanomyces and then they add the currants in secondary fermentation. It is on 5.2%, so a nice sessionable sour, I guess you could say. Looking forward to this. I mean, really been wanting to try some Blackerie beer for a while uh, after I read about them online. So we'll see how this goes. Wow, that looks awesome. Just by pouring this, my life has started to go crazy. This looks so... Wow, I can smell that from here. Wow, that is very hazy. I didn't pour it all out to leave some yeast in there. It's a hazy, dark, uh, almost like a purple, like a super dark red, pink head. Just want to check out the aroma on this one, guys. Wow, this smells just like Ribena. Just like Ribena. Holy crap. Well, this reminds me of... Um, wow, it's just got so much uh, black current. It reminds me of the McKellar Spontane series Cassis, but this feels like it has more uh, black current aroma. Holy crap, this is just abundance of black current, tartness, not too much funk. There is some of that barnyardy, slight, you know, that wet hay, musty aromas, but not too much of it. Wow, it's just, it smells just, it smells just like, uh, it smells just like this stuff. Exactly like this stuff. Ribena. Holy crap. That is crazy. I want to give this a taste. This is one of the so fruit forward. Cheers, guys. Wow! Holy shit! Okay, I want to try more Brekkerie beers. That has got so much fruit character. Holy crap! That is fucking intense. It's like taking this and mixing it up with like a goose lambic, it's like a, what would you call it, it's called soft in Danish. I actually don't know what it's called in English, but it's like a thick syrup you mix with water and then uh, you get a drink out of it. It's kind of like, yeah, I don't know what this called, but whatever, but that is fucking amazing. It sucks that it's in such a small bottle, wow. It's just got tons and tons of fresh, tart, uh, black currant flavor, so much of that. S tartness is dead on, not too sour, not too, like, uh, just tart. It's right there in the middle, a little bit more on the sour side than tart, but quite nice. Funk, there's some there, but it, it isn't in the craziest of crazy amounts. Wow, I can just taste black currant for days right now, holy crap. Thanks a lot, Christopher. This is a treat. Now, yeah, there is some funky notes in there as well. Wow, I, I heard good things about these guys. I wasn't expecting this at all. I mean, um, the only thing that would be nice was to be getting some more funk flavors. I mean, it does have a little that, bit of that barnyard and musty cellar funk, but just that, that sourness with the flavors of the blackcurrant just works so well. And it's just like crazy. It's like they just squeezed right in this glass and just took abundance of blackcurrants and squeezed in the juice throw them away and then started drinking this, it's crazy. It's also got a touch of that vinous character that you sometimes get in sours. Wow, okay, some of that, it's actually quite sour, the sourness builds on you a little. Then it also has, along with the funk and all, it does have some, like a mixed berry flavor. Like, uh, like uh, I sometimes say uh, forest berries, uh, you can get that sometimes, like forest berry jam, jam. It's got that kind of flavor. I mean, it's just, they must, must use a lot of blackberry, or black curd in this one, because it's so intense. Wow. 
This is one of the best beers I've had from Sweden for sure in a long time. Wow, this is amazing. Maybe red apple essence to it as well. Great stuff, yeah. 95 guys, definitely. Thanks a bunch, Christopher. This is freaking phenomenal. Wow. Just like the simple label and all this is crazy. Yeah, definitely, guys, check this one out. This is amazing stuff. Uh, I need to do some trading or something for more Breckeriet beers, because that was great. So, yeah, guys. That does it for the review of, uh, the, review of the Black Reed Cassis. Um, great, great stuff, guys. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page. Uh, let me know if, what you think of this if you've had it, of course. I think it's amazing. But yeah, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. And I'm going to say cheers and drink this lovely sour. And I'm going to see you guys in another beer review.